Yeah, Oathbreaker's um, not a good name. Yeah, no. Now, because to get to the spiciest part, doesn't totally fail. Oh boy, here we go, everybody, no, get out your fucking Cajun! All right, look, here we go. You put the Cajun in the crock pot. Yeah, me and Isaiah are gonna walk at fucking twenty paces or whatever it is. Turn and draw. All right, so Paladin Smite, I don't like it. I don't yeah, like I know, it at all. I know you don't like it. Uh, it is. I just. It, I know it was powerful. I get it. I know that you could argue that it was overpowered. Yes, correct. Yes. But yes. it felt good and it was fun and it had like, it like the meme. The smite is a meme for a reason. Uh, Why did you take that from me? Like, I don't get it. Now, to describe what I'm talking about, if you don't know, uh, divine smite is now referred to as paladin smite and it is not a class ability. It is a spell, a spell that's always prepared and is activated through a reactionary bonus action, not a reaction. Uh, Big okay. distinction. Two things. One, um, we don't actually know if it's a bonus action. I don't think they said that part. They did. Did he specifically say it was a bonus action? Yes. Okay, we don't know the exact wording on it then in that case. So I don't it activates upon a bonus like so you, well, you get the, the hit in, and then in, you can use a bonus in the play test. Activate. That was how it was worded, but we don't know if that's the final version. Fair enough that that might be we're, a little we're going to go off that, right? That's but the information saying, we have. So we're just going to go off. That it. might be up in the air. It may be a reaction in the final version because I don't remember uh, Jeremy Crocker's brother specify if it's a reaction you're gonna have me so fucked up why because that's just a, like is that worse than a bonus action no but it just I know that reactions are not used that often they're not that fair often. enough but I don't like the idea of wasting this thing that could be done with uh, like that you could use for other things and not just reassign class abilities to them. I just look like I said, I don't know. I, I haven't. I, it's been a minute since I looked at that Paladin video, so I don't remember what Crawfish Man said uh, on that particular point. So that the wording of how it is activated is up in the air. The other thing I will say is so it's still called Divine Smite. What Paladin Smite is, is Paladin Smite is the name of the ability uh, on the character features list. And Paladin Smite gives you access to a bunch of these smite spells. One of those smite spells, smi smite spells is Divine Smite. The other ones is stuff like Eldritch Smite and Searing Smite and Banishing Smite, you know, that crap. Mm -hmm. They didn't chain, they didn't like rename it. They bundled it in with other smites. Uh, but it is a spell. And the main thing that it being a spell does is make it so you can only do it once around. That's the biggest thing. I will say... We don't know. So like, again, again, the crawfish cook pot did not tease out, <laughs> did not tease out all of the specifics about the divine smite thing. I kind of feel like he should have, because I feel like he, he knew that this was going to stir the pot, uh, the pot that the crawfish are in, but like he didn't. So we don't know if you're going to be able to counterspell it necessarily because we don't know on the wording of how it activates. We don't know well, if it's so a, that was we don't know if it's a bonus. Hold, hold on. We don't know if it's a bonus action or a reaction yet. Or any. It may just be a thing where it's like you hit and burn a spell slot. It could just be that. We don't know. Uh, we know you get a free one and we know that the damage works relatively the same. And you, uh, I forget what was the other thing. There was like another thing, but uh, we don't know exactly. All we, what we know right now is it's a spell. It comes in from the Paladin Smite 
list. You always have a prepared. You get a free one. Presumably the damage is unchanged because the crawfish cookpot did not mention anything about the damage being changed. Although he didn't say anything about the undead damp bonus damage. I hope they didn't get rid of that. Uh, no, they, I, I'm going to be genuinely like they did. So in, I'll, I'll, I'll they did in the it. playtest, but, you know, they did. Yeah. So overall, I'm not a fan of this. I'm just not. Do I hate it? No, but I'm not a fan. OK, here's what um, I'll say about this. Divine Smite needed a needed a smack in the jimmies. Divine Smite needed a nerf. It needed to be looked at. Not even necessary. Here's OK. Here's one of the biggest things, right? Divine Smite. Let's try that again. <laughs> Divine Smite by itself. Mostly fine. No, that's not even true. It was OK. It was still very strong by itself. It really becomes a problem when you also start multi-classing it and comboing it with everything else. And because of the fact that it was literally just if I hit, I can declare bonus damage. Like right, mechanically, the way it works was if I hit the target, I can declare bonus damage. That was how that ability works. Because it worked that way, it was really easy to multi-class it and do stupid feet combos and stupid magic item combos and all this other bullshit that you could just easily wrangle it in there because of Divine Smite was so very loose with how it worked. So the idea of tightening down a little bit how Divine Smite functions, I understand. But I and again, I've also been somebody that kind of hates the fact that you can declare it as soon as you hit a target just for freezies that still feels shitty and weird to me but they didn't change that anyway so whatever <laughs> no sounds, i mean there, i don't think there's sounds, any way to change it and then it not feel shitty because if you can if you can waste it i don't think it's gonna feel really shitty there's ways i think you could make it work and i don't think it ever should have been that way but we're not going to go down that rabbit hole right now because we'll be here for 45 minutes just on that point being it needed to be looked at in some fashion. I don't think making it a spell specifically was the move necessarily. Because. Well, on one hand, I do understand making it a spell for the purpose uh, purposes of. You know. Uh, sort of game rule understanding, because when you. When you first read Divine Smite as like a newer player, it kind of seems like it is a spell, but mechanically it's not. So making it a spell mechanically for the sake of helping out with that new player comprehension, I kind of get. But in terms of nerfing it, I don't know that this was the best way to nerf it necessarily. So I'm kind of in the middle on the whole thing. That being said, I, you know, uh, am I going to shed a tear for the Paladin players? Eh, not that much. Not that much. I'm going to be honest. As someone who is on the receiving end of Divine Smite bullshit very recently, uh, you know, a little bit of a smack upside the head, you know, eh, I'm not going to nah, say no. sir. I, look, I was also on the, on the receiving end of that, and I'm still just like, no, it was fine. Uh... You can still play the 2014 version, though. You can still play a 2014 can... Paladin. Yeah, if you but want they're, to. they're. I feel like I would just want to mix and match. And I know it's like, oh, you can't have both ways. Like, oh, well, no, you cannot mix and match. But... They did say you can't mix and match. You have to pick to say uh, I'm going. Fuck. You have to say when when you're declaring which book you're going to use, you have to stick to the book you're going to use with the exception of subclasses. So like if you're like, I'm going to play a 2020, if I'm going to play a 2014 Paladin and you have to stick to the 2014 Paladin in terms of like character progression and features and all that stuff. But you can slide in a 2024 subclass if you want to or vice versa. But you can't mix and match the features. Granted, yeah, I don't like that. Granted, it's a tabletop game. You can do literally whatever the fuck you want. The great cough crawfish gods have no power over you. Their fishy claws cannot pinch you. You can do whatever the fuck you want at the end. Uh, I, I will say, so the thing that I think was kind of goofy 
was they're like, oh yeah, you get one free use of smite. Yes. That doesn't eat up a spell slot. And we're doing that to, to sort of stop with the spell slot drain. I don't know who has to tell you this, Jawcraw. It's not gonna make it better. <laughs> it's not good. This is not gonna be the remedy you think it is. It, it's people are gonna go, oh, extra smite slot, cool. And now I have to figure out what else, what else I'm gonna do with these other smite slots, like. Yeah, well, I think the, yeah, I mean, uh, the 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 crocker pot was trying to say like, you're getting worse and worse, bud. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you're losing it. Good while you're ahead. <laughs> he was trying to say is like, you have to, you know, we're giving you a free one, so you could potentially. I think he wants paladins to use their spells a little bit more, and so he was trying to give a little bit of a an alleviation there for the potential to use spells a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? I, I get it. Is I, it going to work? Be fair, I, I don't know. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know how you'd fix this. I genuinely, I don't. I'm not going to pretend I, I don't think. I mean, really, Divine Smite probably should have never been tied to spell slots, to be honest. <laughs> I, you know, I'm inclined to agree with you straight up. But also it, it, it in the form that it exists in 2014, if you uncoupled it from spell slots, it would be even more ludicrous, ludicrously fuck off powerful. So like it would need to be looked at. But if I were on the cutting room floor before 2014 released, you know, original 5e came out, I would not have tied it to spell slots at all, personally. And I'm, I mean, I, you know, I'm going to be real. I, I just feel like if you gave it a, like a, just a unique number of ammo, and you can make it stupidly powerful. Well, you would have to give it a really small number of ammo then. Well, I mean, if you like, even if it's you have a number of them equal to, you know, whatever your like modifier is, your 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 proficiency. But like, no matter what, it always does like 8d8 or whatever. I mean, that and then you can get be... something later on that lets you like reroll ones or whatever, because you're never going to have more than those. Uh, I think that's probably st- I mean, 8d8's a lot, so I think I would lessen that even more so than a potential I, yes, I'm, I'm six just, uses, I'm, but sure, I get what you're saying. I, I'm just being extreme, yeah. Like, you you have an impetus to make it way stronger because you have a third of what you used to have. Yes, if if you were to if you were to tie it to its own resource pool, then yeah. If a mechanic is used less often, it's allowed to be more powerful, for sure. So, yes, you could definitely do that. And I would have been fine with that, actually. If Divine Smites were the kind of thing where you had to be more litigious about when you use them, but when you decided to use them, it was a big fuck off smacko. I would like that a lot more because I do think one of the things that I don't like about Divine Smite in the way that it currently works uh, in both rule sets, to be honest, is that Divine Smite kind of just ha- just happens all the goddamn time, and fictionally it doesn't feel as cool as it could, because if it happened less often, it have it would have way more fictional and narrative weight to it. So yes, I would be fine with that. But you know, if you're gonna keep it tied to spell slots, then other work has to be done. Um, so something that I think is kind of weird is, so you're you're right. They did sort of fold all the smites together. They did, yeah. Um, I'm, I don't like this, but not as a general thing. And I, I brought this up like months ago. My ideal, right, right, would be you just turn Divine Smite into something like Eldritch Blast. And you, like, you turn the other smites into, say, like invocations. Yeah, I could see that. And that way, you know, they still do. So uh, let's say if you level one Divine Smite, Rather than it doing, I think what is what two or three d eight? I think it's three d eight. I think it's two. All right, two d eight. So then you say, uh, you know, you do one less die, but then you have the special effect. And then you know, as you get hit higher levels, you're still doing a lot of damage because you're only removing one die. But now you're wrapping the effect effect in with it, you know. And um, yes, that would make it very yeah, powerful. I could see that as an option. I mean, yeah, you sort of I think you lose you, in balance. You make up for in really unique and interesting mechanic. Well, I think you would have to play with if you were to. 
if you were to lump the other um, smite ability, the other smite spells into Divine Smite, I think you would need to noodle around and consider. You need to play with the damage and really think about how you would want to handle that. Like you'd have to you'd have to futz with it more. Um, but I don't think that's off the table. I think that could definitely be a potentially interesting idea. You know, and then you could also have paladins who basically customize which smite they care about more. Uh, which could be fun. Speaking of, did you hear where? Uh, oh, well, I don't know if you watched the Warlock video, but we're getting more invocations. Let's go, baby.